All right, mums and dads, welcome to today's episode of Bad North. We're gonna jump right into the game. <laughs> well, you would believe it is a game, but it's not. It is our duty in this journey to free Amalens from the everlasting threat of Ambat Vikings. It is up to us, we who are put to the task, Shapley, Finbar, Angus and Randolph. Ah. Let's see what we can do. Oh. With the money we got, yeah. ah. with the money we muster. All right, let's proceed. Right, let's let's take a position. Archers, stay up top of the hill. They're coming in, first wave. Let's just take care of this boat here. Whereas Pikeman and Swordsman take up that corner. Easy now, lads. Steady. It's just the first wave. Archers coming up east. Let's get the sheets up front. Oh, the pike man. Get up the hill, boys. Don't want to put you to waste too early. Take cover behind that house. I don't get caught up. Send the shipman down there. We can finish up the rest. What will be left of them. Nothing will be left of them. Right, I see. A lot of archers here. The pikeman and the finbar will have a rest now. Thirty bars. Maybe the archers need to replenish. No, nope. they're injured. I mean, they're wounded. In comedy, you say wounded. Right? They're wounded, but they'll make it. Alright, we got warriors with shields. That means. Alright. <clears throat> First line, archers. If you shoot just strong enough, you will knock them off the boat. That could work. It worked in the past, boys. Why not now? See? Alright, you swap positions. Take cover behind that house. And let the pikemen do the job. Yeah, that's the job. Shoot me in again. Easy now. Easy. Alright, let's do this double spray. Lancers up the hill. Arches versus arches. Let's put the sheep men to their aid. And we did it! That was the last wave already. Let's collect the coin, boys. And go home. For this will be a new home to people. To our people. It's not half bad. That is not half bad. Uh, we could uh, get you better lances, or better swords and uh, shields. Uh, Your lances are pretty good as it is uh, already. Let's say we buy you stronger shields and uh, sharper swords. We're in the market for that. Next turn it is. All right, let's see what we got here. The island of Bresse. In that case, we got arches. We got shieldsmen, we got, well, ordinary infantry, and a question mark. 
And that question mark means an unknown foe, an unknown enemy. Troubling foe that will be wiped off this earth. Boyos. Let's see. Coming through the fog. There they are. That's ordinary infantry. Well, the archers would probably wipe them out before you, they got the chance to land. And that's quite alright with me. I don't mind a bit. That's it. Keep your eyes peeled. Yes, very good. Keep up the good work so far. Mount that hill. Yes, let them come in between. Very good. That was fast, actually. But well, let's see if we can knock them down. Their boats. Off their boats. Into the ground. Well, the Boar clan still has no enemy in sight. They could just well, uh, back them up a little so they can swap positions. Should they land? Well, the boats landed empty. Just some arrows, some darts pierced the broadside. Alright, get up that hill. Let's have the pike man close this alley. You could call it. Let's see if we got enough arrows for them. Dark fellas. Alright, lads, final wave coming in. It's archers. Shields up front. And the Bork clan will deal with this boat here. Five men. Take them serious. Got any bonus? Yeah, well, bonus we can't use. We must not use yet. The Bork clan deals with this attack up there. And finishes up the last archer. Very good, five coins. What a question mark. Was meant for an item to uh, receive. And that item was the Ring of Commanders, was it? Yeah, I think it was. Increases maximum squat size to 12. Uh. I dare say we give this ring to Angus. Not only did he... Uh, Prove himself worthy of it. No, you can't help. Archers. That's right, Angus. You're a commander now. Commander, captain of the marksmen. All right, Shapley. What is our next course? We had Bomb, we had Grinnick, we had Flatley. We just liberated Brassey. What next then? Well, you see, in this area, area 15, we actually had our turn. And in this area, Cornholm is still to be freed. And we're gonna do that. Well, we only got... I think that's Shieldsman, is it? I could go with less commanders, but why would I? I have to, um, you know, take the next turn anyways. So every commander will replenish and I just start where I would have left off. And, you know, as a smart tactician, it is said to act better safe than sorry. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Take no risk. It's just three houses, I know. But these three houses, houses will provide us with well, pretty much the whole circle of life. Peasants will move in and 
will seep to the fields and tan to the land and I don't want to miss one tinny island on the all. Someone is good at not getting knocked back and someone is good at knocking back. I think you are good to knock back enemies and you cannot be knocked back so easily. Alright, tree clan, take position, up here, surround them, and we will put you up there to tighten the noose. But again, empty boats land. These are good boats, these are fine vessels, we can use them later on. To get off this island. To get off Brunholm. Right, let's swap positions. I'll make sure we can keep them for the time. Yes, put the lances up front in first line. That's always a good decision. Shields are second in line then, and the archers will shoot their arrows over the hats and into the enemy lines. Alright. I don't think we have got enough money. Well, we could, yes, let's... Finbar, you've done a good job so far. We give you new pikes, look at them. Sharp as razor blades. Just exactly what you want to have to fight off the enemy. Well... We are well equipped so far. Let's get the island of Inchkeith. See how many islands, how many turns I got left. So it is easily for me. It is easily done to replenish these commanders in each and every turn. Oh my days, we got Dragra. May the gods be with us. Let the archers work them a bit. Tighten the noose. Yes, they killed them. Very good. Alright, take good aim. These blocks surely are the thefty ones. I don't know what that mean, the word means. Alright. Let's get you positioned here. That was quick. Yes, this island is populated much better than the other islands. So this is an important place for us. An important place to be saved. To be protected. Tree clan. Boar clan. Our class clan. And, well, I say. Three folks clan. I guess. Finbar, tell me. What is your clan's name again? Nameless clan. Alright, you take care of, of these boats that you covered here, and you will take up Draugr. Alright, you done it so far. Let's get you covered here. Make sure for them to come within range. And they're gone already! You really leave no... Eye dry? Is that correct? Is that the same? No, leave no eye dry. Well, you do it greatly. I assure you that. Right, let's close up this alley. You folks get to shoot. The shield. There is. Let them come. Alright. 
right, prepare for the last wave. For it is not yet to be the hour where we await the last wave. The last wave of wolves. They're coming. Well, he died while getting off the boat. Here we are now, final wave. Shoot, bearers. I don't think that's the correct term, is it? Shield bearers. Shieldsmen. Let's call them shieldsmen. They don't need names anyways. Oh my days. No one saw the marches coming. And now we got them there. This bloke here, he took an arrow. He took an arrow for us. But he managed to survive. He managed to survive the final attack, the final wave. And now we know because this question mark clearly marked an unknown enemy, which I called Draugr or Nidringer, how the north, the northern folks call him. It means somewhat a lower creature that rose from the dead to walk this earth. All right, let's have a rest. Let's feast on the island of Inchkeith and prepare ourselves for the battles that are coming up before we can before we reach the small isle and meet up with the hawk clan up until then thank you very much for watching <laughs>